Hi, I am Dr. Naoto Weno. I'm the, I'm the executive director of Morgan Welch Inflammatory Breast Cancer Program and Clinic. Uh, today I'm here to talk about inflammatory breast cancer. As you know, inflammatory breast cancer is one of the most aggressive disease in breast cancer. It represents about 2 to 5 percent of breast cancer. It generally presents with redness of the breast and and it is sometimes uh, not known by some of the primary care physician uh, to be believed as a cancer because it could present as like a mastitis. So why is this cancer, why is IBC uh, so aggressive? Well, it's because of metastasis. Uh, it actually have a tendency to spread more rapidly than non-inflammatory breast cancer. The cause of this metastasis specific to inflammatory breast cancer remains to be somewhat unknown. Uh, there is a need for a lot more research to understand this process. Metastasis is a process of uh, location of one small cells uh, spreading in, at the location of the original site and it could spread through the blood vessel or lymphatic channel and it could go to the other location. So, for example, if you have a breast cancer in the left side, it could actually go to the lymph node, and then it could go into the lung, it could go into the bone, liver, and brain. Uh, many of the inflammatory breast cancer patients have this disease already, uh, sometimes at the di early diagnosis, that it could be already located in other places. Therefore, it is very important to make sure that you do not have metastasis when you are newly diagnosed with inflammatory breast cancer. Because we do not know the exact mechanism of why uh, metastasis happen, it is very important to understand the mechanism. Not just the phenomenon, but exactly at the molecular and genetic level to understand is very important. The metastasis has multiple steps. We know that first, it does need to get released from the original site and there are many molecular events that may trigger this. One of the important events is called epithelial mesenchymal transition. Well, epithelial uh, is one of the phenotype or potential morphology of the cancer and it has more stickiness and it will clump together. However, cancer cells could be changed to mesenchymal cells which is more less sticky and it, that means that it could be more mobile, meaning that the cancer cell could move around. And this moving around actually results uh, invading into blood vessel and lymphatic channel, and then it's going to the other location, and then it needs to stick back to another location so that it could form metastasis. Now, for every step of these changes, there are molecular events, and some are already known. However, how this could be truly translated into clinical trial setting further needs more effort uh, to understand the mechanism. So the big question is why is it so important to understand this mechanism of metastasis in inflammatory breast cancer. Uh, inflammatory breast cancer patients have uh, more likely to metastasis and, and the bigger picture is that uh, by understanding this metastasis we may find out this may be unique to IBC or it may not be unique to IBC. This means that by understanding this mechanism of IBC, uh, mechanism of metastasis, we may be able to understand the, the bigger picture of how metastasis happened in all breast cancer. So therefore, if we could understand IBC metastasis, there is a potential of uh, helping all other cancer uh, all other breast cancer types. I am also the section chief of translational breast cancer research at Department of Breast Medical Oncology. So my, one of my uh, research goal is to understand this metastasis. Translational research actually bridges between the clinic and basic science. Basic science finding could potentially uh, benefit patients. Not only that, it could go the other way around, taking clinical knowledge into basic science so that what we see in the clinic could be truly understood. Uh, personalized medicine is a new future of oncology.
personalized medicine actually individualize uh, each patient so that they could develop uh, unique treatment and care. To do this, it goes back to the same uh, thing I just talked about. It do, we do need to understand the molecular mechanism. Each cancer, potentially, including inflammatory breast cancer, may have its own unique target. So Mrs. A may have target A. Uh, Mrs. Um, B may have target D. So this could be individualized, but this means that each cancer have to be really uh, dissected at the genetic level so that we know the target. Therefore, if we are successful uh, in the future, rather than simply giving the same treatment to many of the patients, we may be able to give a specific treatment for the inflammatory breast cancer. So how could this be translated into clinic? Well, that means that we do need to conduct clinical trials. Clinical trials is the only way to create uh, new evidence or making a new progress uh, how we could treat inflammatory breast cancer. If we do not do this, we will remain to have the same standard treatment and we will not make any progress. This means that we will not improve the survival of inflammatory breast cancers. Uh, participating in clinical trial is extremely important. Definitely that you do need to talk with your uh, local physician or large inflammatory breast cancer center to understand the meaning of the clinical trials, but generally there is a potential, great potential of uh, getting uh, a new benefit, uh, not only for you, but for the people uh, in the future who could develop inflammatory breast cancer. At MD Anderson, we have multiple new inflammatory breast cancer specific clinical trials. We have already identified uh, targets such as EGFR, IGFR as a potential new target. Uh, we basically divide the patient into two types, HER2 positive or HER2 negative. For HER2 positive, based on to targeting drug and we are combining noble uh, agents with this HER2 targeting drugs to make the HER2 drug more effective in inflammatory breast cancer. For HER2 negative, we have anti-EGFR antibody combined with chemotherapy that could potentially make the chemotherapy more effective. Further, we are in the uh, phase of developing uh, drugs that would target uh, angiogenesis, formation of new blood vessels. Therefore, MD Anderson, Morgan Welch, Pro Morgan Welch Inflammatory Breast Cancer uh, Program and Clinic could offer a variety of clinical trials in most of the setting that we, we see in inflammatory breast cancer settings. At last, I would like to talk about my new role as Executive Director. Our vision is to uh, provide the best uh, care to our inflammatory breast cancer patient, uh, patient through uh, basically translational research and clinical trials. Uh, we will definitely provide the best standard care, but our goal is to improve our outcome. Our goal is to answer three specific questions over another five years. One is to uh, define the molecular characteristic between IBC and non-IBC so that we can make a definitive diagnosis of IBC. Uh, number two, we will try to understand the IBC specific target so we could develop a unique clinical trial for IBC patient. And number three is to molecularly understand who will develop IBC so that we could take a preventive measures. Some of you may know that I am a cancer survivor. Uh, I myself have experienced cancer several years ago. One of my biggest frustration because of the rare type of cancer I had is I uh, did not have... One of the biggest frustration 
is as a cancer survivor uh, is that I did not have opportunity to participate in clinical trials. I received one of the best care at MD Anderson. However, because of the rareness, uh, what really justified my treatment, the data was limited. This is one of the frustration, and I myself is a patient of a rare can cancer patient. This means that further data is needed, and I feel a lot of frustration uh, because I was not sure if truly my treatment was, uh, could be further improved or not. At this stage, I am doing well, but uh, I felt as a cancer survivor, I have a more commitment to be, uh, I have a more commitment so that I could improve the care of um, my patients, particularly for IBC and metastatic patients. So thank you very much for taking your time to hear my talk, and I hope that uh, you will join uh, the Morgan Welch uh, Inflammatory Breast Cancer Program and Clinic. Uh, this is a fantastic program, and I think we will make a fantastic progress with our fantastic team, and your support is uh, uh, very much needed. And, and we have a dedicated team to make this progress, and I'm very much excited uh, what, we will be, uh, what will be coming in the near future. Thank you very much.